Good evening. My name is Jason Joyce, and I'm an eighth generation lobster fisherman from Swans Island, Maine. I make my living from lobster fishing, oyster farming, and providing eco tours in the beautiful waters near Acadia National Park, where I have over 200 years of family history. I have to confess, I didn't support Trump in 2016. Skeptical that he shared my conservative views, I expected him to flip-flop on his campaign promises. But he has followed through on his promises, including last week when he brokered a deal to end European Union tariffs of 8% on Maine live lobsters and up to 20% on Maine lobster products, which is great news for Maine's lobstermen and women. I live on an island with 370 residents, and lobstering is how we provide for our families. Maine's lobstermen are true environmentalists. We practice conservation every day. If we didn't, we'd be putting ourselves out of business. Four years ago, the Obama-Biden administration used the Antiquities Act to order thousands of square miles of ocean off limits to commercial fishermen. They did it to cater to environmental activists. Although Maine's lobstermen don't fish there, Obama's executive order offended us greatly. It circumvented the Fisheries Council's input. President Trump reversed that decision, reinstating the rules that allow stakeholder input, and he supports a process that seeks and respects fishermen's views. As long as Trump is president, fishing families like mine will have a voice. But if Biden wins, he'll be controlled by the environmental extremists who want to circumvent long-standing rules and impose radical changes that hurt our coastal communities. I strongly support President Trump's re-election. When he sees something isn't right, he's fearless in fixing it. He listens to working people. He nominates judges who respect the Constitution and the right to life. He keeps his word, like eliminating the European tariffs and moving the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. I hope you will join me this time in voting for President Trump. Stand up for your country. Thank you.